Hello everyone, good morning, or oh, good afternoon, based on where you are. So, um, welcome, you're welcome, to, you're all welcome to our first tutorial on Adobe Illustrator, where we're going to be touching just the, like, the basic stuff for what we'll be using more often in Illustrator. So, this is how you open the software is going to look like create a new stuff so we'll go and create a new ad but we'll go click on new then we we'll create or control n for short then wait for it to load while waiting it's going to come up so as you can see this the ad button basically i already have a custom ad but like what i always use and this is how you see it everything is already there and you see the different shape like the size of my ad board, which is one 124 by 124 pixels is what I use. I, I discover it's good for Facebook, Instagram, social media to post. So that is what I use to create adverts for social media. And actually, if you go down and look, you click also if you can click on advance. Clicking on advance, you see some options like you have the coloring option by like the colors actually yeah and the uh, you have the colors and other stuff i use normally cmyk because it's good for printing and also run display on the screen and basically the rest you can it will be there by default and you don't need to edit it but if, if it's not there you can just put it as you see my as you see on mine so you can just do like that after after all checked i'll click on i'll click on create to have in, to create a new ad board oh, but, oh, and, oh i'm going to name my ad board first basically i don't do that at this stage i do when i want to save but Ah, let's name it. We'll just name it first ad board. I had a problem with some of my keys. That's why you see me. Now we'll click on create. It's going to take time to load on we'll have our ad board. That's it. So you can see that the size will have a square or something like that. That is how it's going to be looking like to have a square. Rectangular something like program six more rectangular. I don't see like all the sides are equal. But, uh. So before we start we have some tools on you can see our tools, you have the selection tool. Normally I use that to select and move things apart, like to move object around. Uh, let me show you what it does. Grab the brush and draw something. Then when I grab the tool, I can click on it and either rescale or move it up, move it. Let's move that around then. Oops, let me get that back because I'll see you to explain the next tool which is the I yeah, have this tool and I use that mostly to edit. If I want to edit something or edit a stroke. Also in the name of that tool. Ow. Okay. Uh, I use that to edit basically like if I'm if I have to edit a, a point or a stroke if I want to edit a stroke that's what I use mm -hmm. next to 
Nesvarın fava kindiş. Next kindiş. Next tool is going to be the pen tool. I use the pen tool not in my artworks. I don't use a lot of that, but I use a pen tool to actually like cut out stuff or clip marks. I want to know the meaning of that as we go on, as we go further in the videos, you will see what clip marking is all about. So this is how it works. Guys, do straight lines. So if you drag and if you hold, if you click and drag, it's going to make create a curve. Then we have a yeah. Next one we have the pen to another it looks like a pen to but this one is just to do curve. Like you can use it to do curve something like of that sort. I don't know if you are hearing the stuff moving around but basically just like birds moving outside on the zinc. So sorry for that. Yeah, after I add the shape tool, and we we'll see that in the white, then we have the brush tools, what I use to draw, we we'll have the text tools, the rotation tool or something. Basically, I don't even use this stuff, so let me just see what it's used for. Yeah, if I click, you, what you can do, you do with it is you click and you will set a pivot point, and you can rotate. What like the stuff you have done about that pivot point? Can rotate it around the pivot point, something like that. As you see me doing. Then moving over to the next tool, which is the razor tool. Basically, the razor tool, um, I don't use that a lot because we have the undo key normally. So I don't use the razor tool because I just undo. Uh huh. Oh uh, yeah. So with that said, we'll be going to the next tool, and uh, which okay after going through all that there are other stuff that i use and you might find that important but since you might just be starting out with illustrator you will not be able to see it on your screen so you could just come over to windows and you'll find most of the things there especially like this pathfinder yes i use it more often i use it a lot yeah, you also see that in the upcoming video how I use it to draw. So that's it with um, the drawing part of it. And now, as I was talking, we are, um, and now I'm going to be creating brush. So basically, I'm going to be teaching how to create two kind of brushes. The first one is for those that are using the mouse, and the second one will be for those that are using the digital art tablet or the drawing part anyone you are anyone you're good to go so um, with that said let's get into it so so starting with creating a brush for those using a mouse yeah you might creating a brush for those on the mouse you start by going to the shape to choose the ellipse tool yes then you set it to feeling not you should not feel the product you should, you should say feeling that the outline should be there should be no outline here and then you go over to the board 
basically usually i do this out of the board so you go into the board then you you're going to create a shape a shape somehow like this create a shape like this then uh, you make sure you drag it should be very thin and small reduce the size so that you will not have a mighty big brush I always prefer even to start with a brush like this size I want it to be very small so that I have a very broad variety of like the range to go with in the artwork but it also depends on the kind of cartoon you are doing so you might want to know what you are doing first then after that you go to the brush you go to brush you select it make sure it's selected then you go to brush you click on new brush you click there then you go to add brush and you click ok i'm just going to show you this you just click ok and continue so then the new brush is created and you can use it as you can see the brush are the size of one is very small you can increase it at 10 you see you do you something good here you can use that so that's how you can create a brush if you are drawing with mouse and it's really good because you see it thin at both ends which you can it helps also for to like give the expression like you're using the pressure on your tablet we'll get to pressure option in a moment Next, creating a brush for those using the art tablet. So you want to first of all start by going to the brush. You click on new brush, then you click on calligraphic stroke. Yes, pick next. Then you want to reduce the size of the brush. Reduce it. Then you just go to reduce it here. You go to the option next to read. You click on pressure because if you have a at tablet you see the pressure option there then you just increase the variation to the top but those without the art tablet if you are just using your mouse if you go there you will not see the pressure option because your mouse actually can't give you pressure then click on ok and we have the brush created click on our brush tool if you just try to draw you are going to see when I press hard, it increases, and when I reduce it, you see. When I just, in fact, it's just how hard to depend on how hard you press to increase the size. And I can see increase the size up there, and for you to see what I'm doing clearly, so you can see that that's how it does. That's for the drawing tablet and. Uh, our brush is created so we might start so I think that's it for this tutorial for this first tutorial we have created our brush and meant to you know know some things about the art too also if I forget yeah yeah for the short key you just see things like when I'm drawing the short key I use mostly to undo is just the control Z. I use control Z. Control Z to undo and it's going to cancel what you what you do. So like if you if you have made an error and you want to cancel, just just click on control Z and it's going to undo that. So that is how that's why you just see me clicking and stuff start disappearing and yeah that's what I used to undo with that said and done um, we'll see in the next tutorial where we are going to start by in the next tutorial we'll be drawing a head basically it's for if you are interested in doing portraits for the start yeah I recommend that so you know how you get used to with the environment and know how what you're doing